Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. May the abundant grace of God and His heavenly glory overshadow each and every one of you. There was a young priest who was very nervous about giving his first homily. He worked tirelessly on it, wanting everything to be perfect. On Sunday, he stood before the congregation, his hand shaking slightly. As he began to speak, he realized that, that he was so nervous that he had brought his shopping list to the ambo instead of his homily notes. He looks down, confused, and then smile as he read aloud. Let's see, we have eggs, milk, and bread. He looked up with a playful grin and said, it looks like we are on set for French toast, unless we prefer a homily instead. The priest mistake broke the eyes and everyone felt more relaxed and connected. This story reminds us that our spiritual journey is often filled with unexpected ingredients. Just like that young priest shop in this, we all bring different elements to our faith community, each adding unique flavor and value. Today, as we celebrate Priesthood Sunday, let's look at the story from today's Gospel that speaks to the heart of what it means to be a priest and what it means to be part of God's big, wonderful family. Imagine you are walking down a dusty road with Jesus and his friends. Suddenly, John comes running up, all excited, saying, Teacher, teacher, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to stop him because he's not one of our groups. Now, we might expect Jesus to agree with John's exclusive approach. But Jesus, at his often does, surprises everyone. With a gentle smile, he says, Let him be. If someone's helping others in my name, they're on our side. Anyone who's not working against us is actually supporting us. Isn't that amazing? Jesus is teaching us something beautiful here. Not just about priesthood, but about being part of his church. It's not about keeping, keeping a small exclusive club. No, it's about welcoming everyone who wants to do good in Jesus' name. You see, as a priest, I'm here. I'm here. I'm not here to do all the work myself. My role, my joy, is to help all of you discover the amazing ways God wants to work through you. Think about it. Have you ever seen someone do something kind and helpful and thought or said, Oh, I shouldn't do that. I'm not qualified. Or that's not my job. Well, Jesus is telling us today that everyone 
can serve him. Everyone can make a difference. Everyone is important in God's eyes. Maybe you are good at comforting people who are grieving. That's like offering a warm embrace to our community. Maybe you are skilled at managing, managing finance. That's like ensuring our parents have the resource to serve. Maybe you have a talent for teaching children or visiting the sick. Each of these is crucial for our shared mission. All of these talents, all of these gifts are the ways of serving God and others. They are all important ingredients in the recipe of our faith community. Just as French toast needs eggs, milk, bread, and various ingredients, our church needs all of us with all of our different gifts and life experiences. As we got around the altar for you today, remember, Jesus invites us all to his table. It doesn't matter your age, background, or how long you have been coming to church. Just as Jesus himself shares with us in the bread and wine, he's asking us to share our gifts with the Lord. So here's my invitation to you this week. Look for ways to use your talents to support our priests and serve others. It could be volunteering for a parish ministry, mentoring younger personnel, or simply offering a prayer for vocations. And when you see others doing good, even if it's not in your usual circle, encourage them. In God's family, we are all on the same team. But let's pray for openness to see God's words in unexpected places and people. May we always remember that some things, that sometimes the best things happen when we embrace the unexpected. Whether it's a shopping list at the Ambo or new faces joining our community. My friends, are you ready to accept your priestly mission? Are you excited to see what incredible things God will do through all of us? Then let's stand together to see this amazing gift of the Eucharist and go out there to paint our world with the vibrant colors of God's world. <laughs>